All right, well, uh, it's getting cold out. It's deer season. It's football season. It's chili season. I'm going to show you how uh, I make my deer chili the way me and my family like it. I've been making it that way a few years now. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple, pretty easy, kind of bro science it now. So, uh, like, subscribe, stay tuned, and uh, I'll see you in the kitchen. We got uh, some venison, some sausage, hot sauce. You can use any hot sauce you want. It's all subs. Everything here can be substituted. And we got Bush's baked beans with brown sugar and bacon, <clears throat> some chili powder, tomato sauce, salt, pepper. Um, I don't really measure nothing. I just kind of dump it in. I've been making it a long time. I just kind of make it to taste and. Uh, if for some reason you make it too hot with some hot sauce, you can always just uh, add some ketchup to counteract it. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to cook the uh, venison and the sausage up in this pan. And while that's cooking, we got this pan to get our kind of sauce going and get it boiling. Alright, we got the, uh, the venison, we got the sausage, we're going to cook it up together, and uh, I'll get the sauce going at the same time. We're just kind of mixing it all up. I got it at a medium heat. Alright, now while this is cooking here, we're going to get this going. I got a little bit of butter. I'm going to kind of coat the pan so nothing sticks to it. And uh, we're going to get this boiling. <clears throat> All right, and while this is cooking, I'll just season it with a little bit of salt. Just do it to season. I do a little bit of uh, black pepper, just for seasoning. And then um, a little bit of chili powder. I don't really do exact measurements, I just kind of do it to flavor. I've been making this a long time. All right. We got the meat cooking. We got some butter in the pan so it don't stick to the bottom. Just kind of move it around a little bit. Get it all over there. We're going to dump our uh, dump our beans in. I'm going to put in two cans of beans. Two cans of tomato sauce. And uh, we're going to get this boiling. Stay tuned. This will brown up uh, once we add the meat and get it boiling a little bit. So we're going to add some seasonings now. All right, uh, we're gonna put some more chili powder in here. I've been making this so long, I just kind of know what I like and know what my family likes. But uh, you just kind of do it to taste. We're not a big, uh, big spicy family, but a little bit goes a long way here. And remember, if you do end up overdoing it with the hot sauce and your chili's too spicy, just add a little bit of ketchup and stir it in. And uh, mixes great, and it counteracts that hot sauce. All right, we're uh, we're gonna throw a little bit of brown sugar in here as well. Give it a little sweet flavor, a little spicy sweet. All right, now that we got uh, everything in this pan here, we're gonna bring it up to a boil. 
while uh, we got the meat cooking here. The meat's almost done, so we got to get this to a boil before we add the meat. All right, well, uh, the meat's ready. I uh, just got it on simmer right now, just kind of waiting for uh, this to boil, which it's, uh, it's pretty close. It's bubbling a little bit. Another couple minutes and it'll be boiling. Let it boil for a minute or two, then uh, then put it on simmer, add the meat. Let it simmer for a little bit, bring it back up to a boil, then bring it back down and uh, let it simmer. And the longer you let it simmer, the better it gets. You just got to let those flavors keep cooking in. All right, we got the chili boiling here. Now we're going to add the meat. All right, we got the meat in there. We're going to let it boil for a little bit. Then we're going to put it down to simmer. And then, uh, yeah, just let it simmer as long as you want. The longer you let it simmer, the better it gets. So uh, we'll get back to you when we're done about to, about to eat. All right. This has been simmering for a while, and about every 30 minutes I come back and stir it just a little bit. I got it on two, just kind of letting it letting it go nice and low. So we've brought it up to a boil twice now, and then let it go back down to simmer, and it's been simmering for about an hour or two now. So This is ready for me and my family. You can let it simmer longer, let it simmer less, and just uh, keep seasoning the taste, and if it's too spicy, add some ketchup. Here it is, all done, ready to eat. I like mine cheesy, nice and hot. Dig in and enjoy. Deer season's upon us, fall's upon us. Winter's coming up, it's chilly season.